In 2010, Harry Styles auditioned for the UK television show The X Factor, and although he was sent packing as a solo star, the judges later combined him with four other young male singers to form One Direction, and Harry became to many the standout star of the group. Hello, and welcome to Exploring Pop Culture, your home to the world's most interesting and recognizable pop culture icons. The boy band became a pop music sensation with five immensely successful studio albums before their inevitable breakup. Styles then made a solo splash in 2017 with his debut self-titled album while also tackling Hollywood as an actor. He's now not only a member of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he's also the owner of many lavish mansions all over the world, including a love nest in LA and a penthouse in New York City. So, for those of you who are just starting to follow Harry, or you just wanted to know more about his lavish lifestyle, celebrity hookups, mansions, and intimate details about his rise to fame, well, here we go. Harry Edward Styles was born on the 1st of February, 1994, in Bromsgrove, Worcestershire, UK. His parents divorced when he was seven years old, and he and his sister, Gemma, were brought up by their mother in the town of Holmes Chapel in Cheshire. His mother later remarried to Robin Twist. As a child, Styles recorded covers on karaoke machines that he'd received as a gift, with the first song being Elvis Presley's The Girl of My Best Friend. In 2010, when he was 16 years old, Harry competed in the seventh season of the television show The X Factor. Can I take your name, please? Yes, Harry Styles. Harry Styles, I'm 16, I'm from Holmes Chapel in Cheshire. Singing Stevie Wonder's Isn't She Lovely as his audition song, and Oasis Stop Crying Your Heart Out in a later round. But in a surprise move, Simon Cowell put him together with fellow competitors Niall Horan, Liam Payne, Louis Tomlinson, and Zayn Malik to form a new group act for the remainder of the competition. Performing as One Direction, a name reportedly suggested by Styles, the five boys became one of the most popular contenders in the X Factor Finals that season. Although they finished the competition in third place, they were immediately signed to Psycho Music Label. In 2011, he began dating television presenter Caroline Flack, who Harry met while he was competing on The X Factor, and she was hosting its companion show, The Extra Factor. Styles was 17 at the time, and Flack was 32. Styles, the youngest member of One Direction, became a fan favorite for his curly hair, wide smile, and sweet yet naughty demeanor. He sang some of the lead vocals on the band's first single, What Makes You Beautiful, which was released in September 2011 in the United Kingdom. One Direction's debut album, Up All Night, was a bestseller in both the UK and US the following year. In another highlight of 2012, Styles and the rest of One Direction performed at the Olympics closing ceremony in London. Styles went on to enjoy immense success with his bandmates following Up All Night with Take Me Home in 2012, Midnight Memories in 2013, and Four in 2014. All albums debuting at number one in the Billboard Top 200. The group's final album, Made in the AM, just missed the cut by arriving at number two in 2015, before the band split up for a lengthy hiatus. Harry Styles made a successful solo entry in 2017 with the epic single Sign of the Times, and his accompanying self-titled album which debuted in the familiar number one spot. Fans then waited another two years for his next single, which came out in October of 2019 with the soulful Lights Up. His sophomore album, Fine Line, contained his first number one single, Watermelon Sugar. That year, he was also nominated for three Grammy Awards. Watermelon Sugar, Harry Styles. After appearing in concert documentaries with One Direction, Styles made his feature film debut with Christopher Nolan's 2017 war thriller, Dunkirk, as an allied soldier named Alex, and more recently appeared in the role of Eros, brother of Thanos, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Over the years, he's had a ton of romantic partners. His most publicized relationship in 2012 was a two-month liaison with the pop star Taylor Swift. The experience allegedly fueling a couple of Swift songs such as Out of the Woods, I Knew You Were Trouble, and Style. Styles later dated French model Camille Rowe, and most recently, Olivia Wilde, who dumped her husband Jason Sudeikis for him. Having spent time living in New York, Los Angeles, and of course his home country of England, Harry Styles has accumulated an incredible roster of jaw-dropping real estate throughout his career. Today, he currently lives in a quirky rented home in Los Feliz, Los Angeles, located in the upscale Laurel Canyon neighborhood, hidden behind private gates. 
This spot isn't the only spot that Harry chooses to rest his head. When he is in New York City, he has a penthouse apartment he bought for a whopping $8.7 million, located in the Tribeca neighborhood. The building is home to a whole host of celebrities, including Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds and Justin Timberlake. His real estate collection also includes a home in the Hampstead Heath area of North London, which he bought for a reported $4 million. I think it's pretty safe to say he is set for life now, no matter what he does next. But what do you think? Are you a Harry Styles fan or do you prefer other former members of One Direction better? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like and share the video and always subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're notified every time we post something new. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.